Melissa's having a party in three days and wants to sort her data from greatest to least. She wants to know which of the few items are expensive so she can replace them the next time she orders food for her family. But poor Melissa, she doesn't know how to organize her data. Well, that's where I come in to help. The first thing you need to do when sorting your data in a table is to select it, and you can do that by clicking this four arrowed option. Then a heading tab shows up, and it's called Table Tools. Underneath it, there's two options called Design and Layout. The one we're going to use is Layout. On the very right, there's an option called Sort, which is what we're going to use to sort our data. Then a dialog box shows up. Over here, you can pick the column you want to sort, and in our case, we want to solve the price. Then, Melissa wanted hers from greatest to least, which means descending order. So let's click that, and let's click OK. As you can see, we can easily tell that sushi is the most expensive and breadsticks are the cheapest. Melissa wants to get the total price of all the things she ordered, and she went to go get a calculator because she doesn't know how to total them in Microsoft Word. Well, thank God I'm here, because I do. So, let's click Layout first, which is under Table Tools. Towards the very right, there's an option called Formula. Click it. When you click it, a dialog box will show up, and it will say Sum and Above. Sum is the function. So you can also change your function. For example, for some reason you want product. And then you can also change your function by using this. As you can see, product is right here. So instead of typing it, you could have just clicked over here. But since we already have typed it, let's just leave it this way. And you can also change your number format, as in percentage, simple number, and by using the number symbol. Well, I want it this way percentage. So let's click OK. As you can see this really large number is the product of all these numbers. Since we never wanted the product in the first place, let's click Control Z, which is undo. Now let's click formula again. And it says sum and above. Since we're using sum, let's leave it this way. And you may be wondering, why does it say above? Well, since our insertion point is here, we're adding up the numbers that are over here. And since we clicked percentage earlier, I'm going to change it back to 0, 0.00. And let's click OK. As you can see, this is much easier than getting a calculator and typing each and every number in correctly.